Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bungle Collects. Can I start off with a warning? Do not clean coins. Repeat, do not clean coins. It will ultimately damage them and devalue them. Um, in this episode I am going to be cleaning some coins and I'm building up to cleaning this silver coin. It's a First World War Navy centenary. It's got quite a bit of tarnish on it and a thumbprint. That thumbprint is mine unfortunately. It's been in a few places where it shouldn't have been. And I'm going to try and give it a clean with this silver sparkle polish. But I'm not going to go straight for it. I'm going to build up with some of these other um, base metal coins first, um, including this one. That I'll start with this because I've got absolutely nothing to lose with this uh, this bad boy from 1981. Big, massive, chunky 50 pence. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to try this Milner's Tower that's got a little bit of kind of tarnish on it. Not, not much. Got that from Jeff from Middlesbrough, up the borough, Jeff, thanks very much. And I got this in our, or my last two pound hunt that I did myself. This was the plum find and it's not in very nice condition. So I thought I'm gonna stick it in the silver polish and see what it does. Got me trusty silver polishing cloth. This, uh, I got five of these from eBay. Some really good results in the, the proof coins and my bunk coins that I cleaned in another episode. So do go back and watch that. But warning, 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 do not clean coins. Right, let's start with, we'll move this one out the out the way for the minute. And let's start with this because I've not used this before. Big thank you to HMS Belfast that recommended the, the use of this particular polish. Let's see what we've got. Silver sparkle. Now HMS Belfast said quite clear when you're doing silver coins, only put them in for a couple of seconds and then rinse them in cold water. I won't be needing this. This is a jewellery cleaner, so I will not be scrubbing it. I will probably need this polishing cloth, although of course I do have my tried and tested one there. This is the real, this is the real deal. Oh yes, and I do need to rinse them in water afterwards and I've got a bowl of water next to me. No running water, but it's a, it's a bowl. Let's see where we go. So Town Talk Polish Co Limited Medium Strength Silver Sparkle Liquid Queen, cl Liquid Cleaner, Liquid Cleaner for Silver Jewelry Sparkling since 1895. Now you can't say fairer than that, can you? 1895. Okay, comes with a basket brush polishing cloth. Give your silver a deep clean in just minutes. This kit will remove tarnish and restore the shine to silver jewelry and small silver items. So I appreciate the first coins I'm doing aren't silver, but um, I just want to do a test because I am a little bit nervous about putting a, a silver coin in, but never mind. Place your silver jewellery in the dipping basket and immerse in the fluid for two minutes. Repeat if necessary, but do not leave items immersed for long periods. Once clean, rinse the jewellery in water, then dry with a soft cloth. Polish with the silver polishing cloth provided for anti-tarnish protection. So there's that uh, and a soft cloth I haven't got. So I might just start, I've got, I've got tissue paper, um, kitchen roll, but I might just have to use tissues right let's go through some of the warnings causes serious eye irritation suspected of causing cancer right okay well that's a that's a ringing endorsement isn't it uh, harmful to aquatic life with long-lasting effects keep out the reach of children do not handle do not handle until all safety precautions have been read and understood wash contaminated skin thoroughly after handling wear protective gloves uh protective clothing gloves eye and face protection if in the eyes, rinse, rinse continues for several minutes. Right, okay, so you've got to be really careful with this uh, with this kind of stuff. I do have some gloves, although this is more for handling the, the silver coin once it's uh, once it's been out. So I will be super duper careful, but please, if you are doing this, please do follow all appropriate safety instructions. Warning, warning, do not clean coins. I am using my old mat, my old 50p mat, just in case, because this, this is filled right, the bloody brim as well. Um, just in case we do get any particular spillages, that is really tightly sealed. Mm. Oh dear, now I'm beginning to bottle this. I'm now thinking I should go and get some. Uh, I should go and get some gloves because that's right up to that is right up to the top. That and this is gonna, this is gonna, this is gonna splash. It's the Poochington agrees. Yeah, I, I'm just asking for this to go all over the place so yes i'm gonna go i am gonna go and see if i can get some gloves off lady m right gloves on got some protective eyewear as well oh yes <laughs> right let's go let's see whether we can get this off come on baby i feel a little bit more confident now i've got the uh appropriate eyewear on if it does splash 
and it's just my face to worry about. Not, you know. Oh, sugar. Pat myself there. Right, that doesn't uh, that doesn't work. Right, super sharp knife. This is Lady M's knife. We got this for opening mail, I think. Along with the letter opener. Or did, I, did we have this and we just opened the mail with it? I'm not sure. But anyway, probably just Lady M's craft knife, actually. It certainly smells. Luckily, the Magic Studio is well ventilated because it absolutely reeks right there's the said uh, there's the said basket interesting that comes all the way out pretty bubbled right so it says two minutes so i'm going to go straight in see the, the only downside of this is if I, if I try this dirty one it's going to contaminate the whole thing isn't it I feel like I should pour it out, but then no. So let's let's just stick all these in and see what happens. Right, echo, set an alarm for two minutes. Two minutes starting now. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see what happens. Ooh, looks as though this. Ooh, I can see something. You can see, but there's definitely some kind of slime in there. In it, this uh, kind of here, like a trail of slime or grime coming off that big boy. Oh, echo stop. So there's our two minutes. Let's release it. Yes, that's the downside. It's kind of it's all inside that stuff now. Anyway, let's uh, let me just take this over here. So I've put that onto a bit of doofus dangler, bit of tissue. We shot the coins in the in here. Oh, I might use that scrub actually to to scrub off the uh, put that back to scrub off the big boy. So it does say rinse in water, doesn't it? Uh, where are we? Uh, uh, roof top film oh, not suitable for other metals oh dear oops too late does that look any different looks a little bit shinier anyway it hasn't destroyed the coin which I think is probably the the one thing that I just wanted to rule out before I did dare do the silver. Look any different? Don't know. I don't really want to scrub it either because that will damage it. That definitely looks uh, brighter. Definitely. That's definitely had some of the tarnish off. I'll leave it in the water a bit longer. And this fella, this big boy, Looks no different whatsoever. Although it does say, oh, maybe, maybe use that a little bit. No, no, it does say don't use it for other metals. So that was a bit silly, really, wasn't it, Bungle? Never mind. Let's just give it a little. Let's just give it a little tickle with this. Uh, with this. See whether anything does come off. And I definitely saw some like it looked like a ghost, you know, like a wispy, some kind of wispiness coming off this when it was in the cleaner. But I can't say that any's like, no, you get a little bit on that brush there, but that's minimal. Does it look a little, little lighter? Maybe. Oh no, that's a that's a zippo, isn't it? A little lighter. <laughs> that's the difference between a hippo and a zippo. One's heavy and the other's a little lighter. Hippo and a zippo. 
crack my saddle. Crack my saddle. Yeah, so something's coming off, but not much. And this, and let's face it, this one is beyond. This is absolutely beyond repair. This one. I was never really optimistic anything was going to happen there. But it looks a, it looks a little bit. It looks a little bit better. Or is it just me? Getting the sweat on as I think about putting a silver coin in that dip. <laughs> right, so let's get this uh, this fella out there. So it is the it is the PA4. That's how you pronounce it, that's how I pronounce it anyway. Number 1172. There was only uh, two and a half thousand in this presentation, four thousand in total. I did get this given off a, a friend of mine gave me this for free. He um he actually bought this and then because it had toned, I think he pretty much got his money back. And then he sent it to me because he knows. Come on, because he knows I like to touch things, so it was basically touch away bungle. I had his permission. If anybody knows who sent me it, if you do know, do put in the comments below. Who it was so you can see on that side there's definitely some how oh, can, I, can I zoom in I can't so this side so you can see the speckles there so on the you've got the uh, on. So, oh god just touch myself with that thing anyway the uh, the wrapper so that with it so there's a bit the speckle there look some speckling around here Maybe it's a little bit down there. And then on this side, that's my thumbprint. Pretty much that is my, can you see my thumbprint there? So you try and get that off. And then I think there's a little bit of, little bit of carry on there as well. And in fact, yeah, it is my thumbprint, but also just around here, there is in the top there. So there's quite a bit. So I think what I'll do, I think I'll try the cloth first. I'll try the, the old, uh, one of these fellas, because I know that this, this has worked in the past. Hmm, this will be fun. Looks like it just screws off this. So this has toned, and I suppose I'm not surprised because it isn't exactly airtight. In fact, it does just screw open like so. So no wonder that's beginning to torn. Oh yeah, look at the nice double thickness look. Still got the shoe, a shield of Britain. Edge inscription. Boy, yeah, it's such a such a big boy, double thickness coin. Lovely. Right. Let's have a look at a close up now with the uh, so yeah, it's my thumbprint which is pretty much over the entire ship and then you've got that little bit in the under the 1914 there towards the 1918 and underneath the underneath the s and the t of first the e of the the and the w and the o and the r underneath there look on the silver but you can see there's quite there's quite a bit and then a few blobs on this side and again there's another partial bear print there Right, so I'm going to try this. So I got this off eBay. I put a link to this in the previous video with all the warnings in the world. Don't clean coins. It'll damage them. So I'm going to try, I'm going to try this first. Because I'm hoping it would at least get my thumbprint off. Oh, sugar, hang on. It's, that's getting a bit, uh, I better put the lid back on that. That was getting a little bit lively there. As I put some force through the cleaning process and move out of the way for the minute. Right. Oh, I still didn't take it. Oh, well, I'll have to screen grab it, won't I? Let's see if we can get that toning off without dipping it in the silver polish. I suppose it'll be a bit of an anti-climax, like if I don't put it in the silver polish. It all just comes off with this cloth. So, some black coming off there. Let's call it oxidization. Where it's, the oxygen's got to the silver content. I mean, the, re the real, I think anyway, I think that's what's causing the, the black. And of course, my greasy thumbprint as well. Don't clean coins. Remember, people, do not clean coins. It will devalue them. I am causing, even though you won't be able to tell, and I said a microscope, but I am causing damage 
to this coin by rubbing it so hard. Right, let's see where we go with just a little bit of a rub. And yeah, most of that has gone, certainly in and around underneath the, the 19 and the 14 and the 18. Maybe there's a little bit of extra there. Is the sum, is the sum on the, so you don't want to touch it with this. Is that from a different colour because it's been in the silver? I don't remember that being like that. Anyway, is there a bit on the gold part just here? I think I think there is. That uh, that there are just birds. I think <laughs> that's part of the design. But there's definitely uh, look at that mirrored finish. There's definitely under the E look. Just at the tip there. That there's definitely something there. So I think this is definitely going to have to go into the the silver wash. To see whether we can do anything with that oh, please don't please don't wreck it i'll give the side a rub first to get that uh, get my thumbprint off from underneath her majesty's neck look <clears throat> i see this has been handled and has been in a place it's unnatural where a coin shouldn't necessarily go it did fit like it fits surprisingly well I did with it. Some coin collectors consider it to be unnatural. That was my impression of Palpatine, by the way. <laughs> Rate me in the comments. <clears throat> oh, we're definitely getting. Oh, where, where's that hair from? Seriously, where where is that hair from? Not mine. Oh, ah, flip a neck. I wonder if that was just hanging around because I've done a coin hunt before this and there was a, a really long hair in one of the bags. I wonder whether it's just been hanging around and I've picked it up. It's certainly not mine. Quite ironic that uh, it was HMS Belfast that told me about this cleaning solution and then we've got a, a navy coin. Not that this coin is HMS Belfast. I believe, I've heard it's, that, it's the HMS Royal Oak, but when you ask anybody at the Mint, I think they really just say it's no ship in particular. It is just basically a, a ship that was typical of the, of the time. Yeah, so you can definitely see where I've begun to uh, damage the surface with that, with that rubbing. Don't know whether you probably can, to be honest, you can't really see it. To the naked eye, you can see that the, the silver bit in and around the queen has got some minor marks on. Although it certainly looks better than it did before. Plenty, obviously plenty of stuff coming off it. Can you see there all that gold bit around there? The gold bit that enters the... Uh, the, the very outside, uh, you've got the silver bit outer edge of the gold is there and then on the silver bit underneath the E right HMS Belfast said just two just literally two seconds so I won't need a Alexa for that or echo for that it's literally just two seconds oh my word What am I doing? Even even I am thinking, what are you doing? No hate in the comments, people. Right, here we go. One, two, and a bit. Right, do I rinse it in water now? I think I do. Right, I'm just gonna, gonna tip it in the water. It's in, it's in. Panic over, panic over. Right, get the lid back on here so I don't spill it. Where's the lid? There it is. Oh God, what have I done? What have I done? Shall I leave this in? Do you know what? I'm going to leave that in. Echo, set a timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes, please. 
15 minutes starting now thank you so we'll, we'll leave that shut and see what that does right um so that's now in the water i'll show you the bowl it's in so i need to get this out oops i'll have to dry it first one i saw let's choose a tissue Right, there we go. That mark's still there under the E. And you can still see the the marks underneath the, the date. In fact, you can argue, you can see more of it now. Now it's been in the cleaner. You can see more of the original, original tarnish. So it's almost as if the polish kind of hit it a bit. So... Can you see here, look, just at the, at the tip. You can see that there. We've got that bit there. And got all that bit there, look. So did the polish disguise it a bit? You know, the, the cloth that I used. And then the silver stuff's taken the, the edge off. Again, you can still see the... You can still see the marks. Definitely see that still see the marks. Are they, are they as bad? Difficult for me to tell. Right, well I'm gonna give it a I'll give it a buff. Whoops. Give it a buff with this. The cloth that it came in. I have to be really careful because I've only got one hand to use here. Uh, I'm gonna do the other side first. Because he says, come on. Because the other side has got that the marks on. Right, okay. Certainly, certainly lots of black stuff coming off. So as is the is the cleaner that's on as it interfered with the surface is it this is now just lifting the tarnish off is that what it's doing i honestly don't know i just know that's an awful lot of black stuff am i papping myself yes i am don't hate me no hate in the comments Remember, if you know if you know who give me this coin, do say in the comments. If you know where it's been, <laughs> then do say in the comments. Right, let's have a look then. I've definitely touched it with my glove as well now. The gloves took a bit of stick. Right, let's have a look. Has it got rid of the marks? <laughs> and the short answer to that is yes it has so hopefully I will be able to get a really nice before and after but that has definitely the marks have definitely gone so there was the ones that were, it was underneath the, was it the E of the the? That's gone. And it was kind of all underneath the date. Oh, well, that has actually worked. Look how shiny that looks. Right, let's try the other side. With this magic cloth. So we're trying to get rid of the this mark here just at the to the right tip of the thumb there's a mark there and there's a couple in and around so underneath the e of regina there's two under the r and the e maybe and one under the f so we'll see if we can get a shot of that exciting i think i 
definitely should have had another pair of gloves that I could have put on. I've also got two other silver coins as well that have got torn in. I got a, a Rio coin and uh, what was the other one? Is it Beijing? I got a Rio and a Beijing two pound coin, silver. Look at that. And uh, they've definitely got a little bit of toning on. And I'm now feeling optimistic that this is the way to go. What I don't know is will it last? That's what I don't know. Am I taking a bit of short term gain for long term pain? You know, like am I putting more? Oh, it's worked. It has worked. It's gone. Oh, yeah, no, it has. I don't really got a glimpse of just maybe some micro scratches there. Yeah, because if I just put my glove, that wasn't that was silly. Let's do that again. But yes, this will definitely, no two ways about this, will definitely be scratching the surface of the coin. It's not designed to do this, not intended that you would do this to it. How many more times am I going to drop this bloody thing? Right. I'm calling that. success that is tarnish free that is gone and again don't know whether it'll last whether I've damaged it in the long run but for a coin it's mine I have no intention of selling one that I want to enjoy in my collection by looking at it I can now say that that is cleaned up I do need to do a little bit on the outer the outer rim there the outer rim a little bit on the outer rim. Let's see if I can do something with that. But the, certainly the silver bit in the middle is as clean as a whistle. So a little bit on the outer rim. Hey, Dex. Them cloners from the outer rim. Sorry. It's another really probably bad Star Wars impression. A quote. I think I've just made that worse. Have I pushed me luck too far with this cloth? Am I rubbing muck back on it? I fear that I might be, you know, I fear that I might be. Do you know, I think I've pushed me luck too far there. I think I've made it worse. Yeah, look. Yeah, I've got, got a bit of a smudge that I can't. Uh, that I, oh, I've only got one hand. <laughs> bit of a smudge I can't get rid of. It's just where my thumb is. You see that? That line. Flip. So, one final look. The inner silver looks absolutely clean as a whistle now. As does the queen side so it certainly worked really well with the silver part I mean obviously it's made of silver but the the silver colored certainly better than work better than the gold the gold colored so that's going to be enough for me there we go so I'm calling that a success obviously do so at your own risk do not clean coins can't stress that enough but uh, yeah, I'm calling that a success. And let's have a little look at the uh, the silver cleaner or the, the big boy coin that's been in there for 15 minutes. I right, shall just take these off, don some more protective gloves. And I guess I'll better put them goggles back on as well. Oh, now it has turned a color. Just splash myself as well, so I'm glad we have the gloves on there. Oh wow! Oh flipper neck, that has that has changed colour. That's that is no longer red. That is certainly silver. Ooh, that's 
that's interesting. But it's definitely done something. That is uh, pretty cool, that. It's no longer red. I mean, it's ruined. <laughs> but then it was ruined anyway. So it's clearly... Uh, would I rather have a ruined red coin or a ruined silver coin? It looks, I think it looks nice like that. It's took all the, it took all the luster off it. Like if there was, if there was going to be any luster, it's all gone. But it has took that red finish off. Hmm. Anyhow, so before I end the video, I've had to, I've had to bring the light over. It's a bit brighter than normal because it is getting dark in the Magic Studio. But I give the Milner's Tower a quick blast with this set uh, with this. And it's come up lovely. However, the two pound coin that you'd seen earlier that was dirty was all black. And it was all, all discoloured. But it's now anemic. So I just give it a, a rub with that same cloth. And it's basically took all the gold colour out. Because it's a circulated coin, so I think that's what the scratch I'm not worried about the scratches. But ultimately the colour of a that is a lot like even I mean it is light it's it certainly doesn't look gold so I think I'm gonna say that don't you shouldn't do it anyway but definitely don't do it with two pound coins I think the silver cleaner that looks pretty good that doesn't it I'm pleased with that considering it was how red it was so I'll give that a buff but that's beyond buff so yeah the, the the silver cleaner the jewelry cleaner must like strip off that first like a, a layer of it and when you're doing it with the a two pound coin, then it absolutely takes the color out of it. So there's the warning for you. If you're gonna do it, I do not recommend it full stop, but I certainly don't recommend it for two pounds. That's interesting on the two. Is that a bit of extra? Is that a bit of a fat? Fat number two looks like a, looks like a snake. Has that got an extra little bit of metal on? Or has it gone a little bit baggy? To check a few other ones like that, never seen such a, a thick two before. Interesting. Right, on with the end of the video. Right, let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you know where that uh, two pound coin's been or who gave me it. Let me know what you think about cleaning in general. Be nice though, you can disagree, that's fine, would be nice. Don't be too harsh on me. And uh, for the final time. Do not, do not clean coins. Please with that. Oh no. Right, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.